door. What? Oi, you deaf in there? Deaf or dead, open the bleeding door. A moment, sir, a moment. I'm here now, aren't I? What bleeding moment you want about? Open up. Sorry, sir. Are you here for a coffin? Coffin? I put you in a coffin. Charlotte told me about you. New boy, is it? Yes. From the workhouse? How old? Nine. Then open the bleeding door faster in future or I'll whop you, understand? Yes. I'm Mr Noah Claypole and you're under me. Understand, workers? Yes. And here's a kick so you won't forget it. Ow! Now get them shutters down while I get me breakfast. Charlotte, where are you? Where do you think I am? Jumping half up my skin at the racket you make. Well, I'm hungry, ain't I? I know how hungry you get, Noah Claypole. And the temper that goes with it. So feed me then. So get down them stairs and get the bit of bacon I saved you from the master's breakfast. And stop trying to knock the house down around us. Hear that, workers? When old Sabri's fed, next in line comes Mr Claypole. And a ruffian like you, meantime, can chew up the coffin shavings on the floor. <laughs> Law Noah, what a rum creature you are. Oliver, get down and eat the scraps I've left you. Then get some tea, but bring it up here, for they'll want you to make haste and mind the shop. Yes. My, my, Charlotte, look at the heartbroken face on it. You wouldn't guess it was a motherless savage, out for villainy where it could get at it. I got a mother, workers. Fine woman. Knows her way around quality linen. She's a washerwoman. It wouldn't be quality linen if it weren't washed, now would it? And my father happens to be a war hero. War hero? Came drunk to the battlefield, got his leg tore off by a cannonball from his own side. There is more stout English heroism in that man's wooden leg than in many a general's heart. And he's got the pension to prove it. Tuppence Apney, twice a year. That's still parents, ain't it? Which means this charity boy here is still a good step up from a worker's orphan like you. Stood, in fact, right next to Mr Sowerbury as a gentleman in my own... Claypole! Sir? That soiled linen we took off the last corpse is still out in the yard. Didn't I tell you to burn it? Yes, sir. And is it burned? No, sir. Well, then get out in that yard and set it alight. You'll have that done before you get any breakfast off me. Sir. And you, Charlotte, have you anything to be about? I have, sir. Then be about it. Certainly, sir. Face on you. What's that? Chewing that neck of mutton like it was your own shoe leather. I'm thinking, Charlotte. I know what you're thinking about. Never you mind what I'm thinking about. It ain't you. <sighs> I'd hate to be what you're thinking about, Noah Claypole. Face like that. Down there, Oliver. Get yourself some vittles. Here he comes. Master's favourite. Shut up. Is that you, Oliver? Got some mutton for you. I kept Noah from guzzling it all, seeing as how you're so important now to Mr Sowerbury's trade. Thank you. How did the funeral go? Nice and solemn? The old ladies were all very upset at the grave. When they got back and had some tea and cake, they all cheered up, laughing and singing they were by the end. Well, there's no amount of mourning a bit of cake can't cure. I ain't got cake for you, Oliver, but sit down and have some meat. All them fancy clothes hung up and put away, workers. Yes, Mr Sowerbury said I ought not to get no stains on them. I bet you looked grand, Oliver. How much? What? How much you bet? For I'll bet you, he looked a right rare worker's brat, what had raided some wardrobe didn't belong to him, silk hat and all. Leave him be. Master said I looked right dignified. What? You, workers? And your mother a drain on the parish what hadn't nothing better to do than die and leave a brat like you behind? What's that? Eat up, Oliver. Go on. And what does she die of? A broken heart. Of a what, workers? Them's fancy words to come out of you. That's what one of the old nurses told me. A broken heart. And what would you know about broken hearts, you workers lout? I know. Look at it, looking at me. You ain't walking in front of a funeral now, workers. And that mother of yours, I bet she didn't have no proper funeral at all. What? Type she was, I reckon they nailed together a few crates off Gravesend docks, shoved her in that and threw her in a hole outside the cemetery wall. A worker's box for a worker's baggage. What did you say? No one. What did I say? I said your mother was a regular badden. And it's a great deal better she died when she did, or else she'd have been hard labouring in Bridewell, or transported, or hung. Which is likeliest of all, ain't it? Why, you... Ah, ah, ow! Ah, he'll murder me! Charlotte, help! He's gone mad! Help, murder! Oliver! Get off him! Oh, Oliver! Oh, uh, What's all this oh, racket? What was that about? Oh, Oh, Charlotte, what's that little workout boot doing to Paul? Oh, 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 oh
killing me. Mrs. Sowbury, help! Stop him! You little roach! He's off me! He's killing me. So I'm half dead already. More than half. Two thirds at least. Let me get hold of him, Charlotte. I'll scratch them tigerish eyes out. Sowbury, where are you? Come quick! What's the noise down there? Sowbury, come down quick before the whole house is littered with bodies! Ah, there we go. Thought you got me trapped, workers, with that surprise attack. You two, hold him still. I'll show him the fight I got in reserve. Oh, careful, Noah. He'll bite the fist clean off you. He won't get one over on me again. I can ass... Ow! Oh, see that? He kicks like a mule. Sowbury, where are you? The boy's gone mad! Whatever is the commotion? I was toasting the deceased with Mr Bumble. Bumble? Well, that's the fellow should be down here seizing hold of him. For he sold us a fiend from the pit in the form of a lot of work. Oliver! Get off me! Oliver! Let me get a hold of him. Get Oliver! Off me! Ah! Now then, when this grip on your collar permits you the breath, tell me what malice you've been at with my household. He called my mother names! Your mother? Your mother's dead, boy. What's a few names to her? It's something to me! Let me at him! What's this disruption to the parochial order? Murder, Mr. Bumble! Murder? Attempted murder, anyway. My poor Noah was like one of them fellas what gets bludgeoned in a melodrama. Like my hero father on the battlefield, rather. Caught out by a surprise attack and suffering here with several mortal wounds. And it did make such a poignant mute. Have you gone mad, young Oliver? I'm mad at him. Not so mad, I hope, that you ain't a trembling at the sight of me. Who cares about that? He insulted my mother. Oh, Mr. Bumble, to talk so to such as you. He must be mad. It's not madness, Mum. I've seen this before. It's meat. What? You've overfed him, Mum. Raised an artificial soul and spirit in him, unbecoming a person of his condition. Why, it's a wonder he didn't eat the legs out from under you. Oh, dear me. This comes of being liberal. So, what are we to do with him, Mr. Bumble? I can beat him, of course. Beat him like I was knocking nails into a coffin. But what if he up and bites me in revenge? Lock him in a cellar, sir. Starve him down, and when he's weakened enough to be released, well, be sure you keep him on gruel for the remainder of his apprenticeship. He comes of a bad family. Oh, that mother of his. Well, she made her way here against difficulties and pains that would have killed any well-disposed woman. She was my mother! And you won't have him back? Bless me, no, Mum. For who else would have him? Come with me, Oliver! I'm a stout stick in the cellar. Oh, it's not fair! He insulted my mother!